Hi, my name's Sam from Webinar Experts, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can run a poll successfully in Zoom. Okay, so this is dead simple. Let's get into it. To run the poll in Zoom, simply schedule a meeting. As you can see, I've already scheduled one here on the right hand side, which is due to begin in 12 minutes time. So I'm going to start that meeting. And once Zoom loads up, you can see that I have the polls option over here. I've added some participants to this who you can see have just joined. So I'm going to open that up and I'm going to admit my two colleagues in. With the poll option now available, you're simply going to go down to polls and click that icon. A window will appear asking you to add a question. So we're going to add a question. This will launch the Zoom web browser and you can see we're being asked for our question information. So we're going to call this round one and the question is simply going to be how big is the Statue of Liberty? And we're going to put some silly answers in because it doesn't really matter. Perfect. And we're going to hit save. Now, as you can see, that's now been added. And if we go back to our meeting, you can see that question is now available and we can launch polling. From the web browser, we can create as many questions as we like. What color is the sky? I'm going to put that as round two. And the question will be what color is the sky? And we're going to have blue and we're going to have green. I'm going to hit save. And as you can see, we now have round one and two. If we go back, you can see we have round one and we have the option to select round two. So I'm going to select round one and we're going to hit launch polling. Our attendees should now see a pop up asking them to answer this poll question. We can see live the results as they appear on screen. Both have selected 200, which is excellent. So I'm going to click end polling. Once polling has ended, we now have the ability to share the results. So I'm going to click share results. When we do that, the results are now being shared. We can't push out any more questions until we stop sharing the results. So I'm going to hit stop share results. And at the top, I can now from this drop down select round two questions. What color is the sky? And I'm going to launch polling. That question will now be pushed out to my audience who now have the ability to vote. And as you can see, those votes are coming in. Like before, I simply hit end polling when I'm ready. I can see the results and I can click share results to send those results out to all my participants. When ready, I can stop sharing the results and as before, I can select the questions. If you want to re-ask a question you've already asked, simply click on that question and click relaunch polling. However, do bear in mind that this will clear all existing poll results and it will replace them with the new results. And that's really all there is to it. So for more great tips and tricks on how to use Zoom, do hit the subscribe button below, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.